Cannabis prohibitionists have found a new way to fight the will of the majority of residents who voted to legalize the plant in their home states. Anti-cannabis groups are using a U.S. federal law intended to combat organized crime to go after legal dispensaries. One cannabis shop in Colorado, Medical Marijuana of the Rockies, was forced to close after Washington-based Safe Streets Alliance sued not only the dispensary, but the businesses they worked with. As a result, one after another, companies and individuals agreed to stop doing business with the cannabis shop, so it was shuttered. At least one more dispensary is facing a similar lawsuit. Brian Barnes, attorney for Safe Streets Alliance, said these racketeering lawsuits present a new way for opponents of legalization to fight the reform. Quote, it is still illegal to cultivate, sell, or possess marijuana under federal law. He continued saying, if our legal theory works, basically what it will mean is that folks who are participating in the marijuana industry in any capacity are exposing themselves to pretty significant liability. In 1970, the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO Act, applied criminal penalties to activity that benefits organized crime. It also allows victims of crime groups to file civil suits. This is the law that cannabis prohibitionists are currently exploiting to shut down state legal cannabis shops. If the tactic works, dispensaries would suffer three times the criminal penalties. While the lawsuits have yet to reach a court, prohibitionists have already succeeded in closing one cannabis shop. Because of this, Safe Streets Alliance says they plan to sue other cannabis businesses for racketeering. Barnes made a clear threat to dispensaries, saying we're putting a bounty on the heads of anyone doing business with the marijuana industry. Just because you see what appears to be this unstoppable growth of marijuana, we disagree. We're starting to change the economics of the marijuana industry. Evidently, the fact that a majority of people in Colorado and other states voted to legalize cannabis doesn't concern prohibitionists seeking to exterminate the legal market. Of course, if cannabis shops are forced to close, the black market will just pick up the slack. The so-called Safe Streets Alliance must prefer street dealers who sell to children over businesses that pay hefty taxes and ask for ID.